as in the wash. What will you do? My name is Ace here live on the stream. I'm in the commander chair, and my number one for today will be none other than Rel. Rel, how are you doing today, man? I'm not doing bad. That's a good point, actually. I've just noticed my chair is a lot smaller than yours. It is. You're like on a throne there. No, it's not a throne. It's my. It's like the <laughs> captain's seat. The captain's seat. So but even though you're on my left, that kind of makes you like my advisor. And if, okay. you're, if you're on this side, <laughs> then you'd be my number one. Okay, okay. That, that'd be kind of... So I'm, I'm not even your right-hand man right now. No, no, no. You're kind of the I'm person, like, you're kind of the person that looks at the screen, the screen and like somebody yells at you and you, you say to me, Captain, <laughs> I think he's angry. Yes, Captain, that's, that's... Captain Aspec. Captain I'll right refer there. to you as that from now. That's right, that's right. Okay, so anyway, um, <laughs> going, Good morning. Into, yeah, <laughs> going into this game now, we should probably explain what's happened. Um, this is Imperial squaring up against Power Unlimited TV. Uh, Imperial did just play Mythics and actually got knocked out 3-1. The one map that they did win, uh, Mythics had to forfeit, forfeit because we were running well behind on time. Imperial didn't really want to take that map from them, but um, because we were... Uh, short on time, they had to do it, so it was 3-1 to Mythic, so Imperial are into the middle bracket now and playing Power Unlimited TV. Power Unlimited TV are a local team, and they're actually quite interesting. They're from a magazine, who are from uh, this particular area, they're from a little town called Utrecht, just uh, outside of Saturday, so 30 kilometers to the south. And they have a magazine, and they have about 300,000 to 400,000 issues a month. And, uh, Reflex CT has uh, a feature in that this month, and they're here on site to play the games, and therefore we're also going to be covering their first here game right now. Now, a little bit of an update on the, the server rules. Mm -hmm. Domination is out. Domination's out, which we, we weren't too happy with. We like commentating our domination. It is. It's for... From a, from, a, from a spectator perspective, it's a bit annoying because it did give games that were close. Mm -hmm. And it did give good entertainment value. But the team spoke out and apparently 79% of all teams were like, screw this. Yeah. We, want, we just want CTF s &D. Yep, they want to keep it as competitive as possible and you've got to appreciate that. I mean, Capture the Flag is by far, in my opinion, the most balanced and competitive mm. game mode. And Search and Destroy, the big clutch plays that you can see in it sometimes, uh, definitely make it worthwhile. Blue Fran comes to mind from Blue last Fran. event. <sighs> Blue Fran. He's one versus three against three of Europe's best. That was that was amazing. There was a big cheer when he it got It was, that. it was. You want to watch that video, yeah. go on the YouTube, because it's right on there. In the first time, though, we have ourselves. We're currently on Arcade, and let's go into the game. See. Let's go live, live, live for the first time here at Reflect GT. Arcade, and, well, what can you say? I mean, we're watching Power Unlimited TV at the moment. They are currently 2-0 down against Imperial, so a really good start by the Imperial squad. They got knocked into the middle bracket very early on. And, you know, they're looking to change that now. The team kill by Ridder. Oh, this is not going to bode well. <laughs> nope, not at all. Let's take a look at these uh, these listings here. Power Unlimited with Arte, Elisan, Watt, and Ridder. Those are uh, Ridder. That is actually the last name of, uh, of the lead uh, the lead editor or the head editor of the magazine, which is actually on site here. It's a cool dude. And, of course, on the other side, we have got ourselves Team Foreign. Which are playing under the Imperial name. No, well, th this is actually the interesting thing. We thought it was Team Foreign. But it's actually Imperial. It is actually Imperial, yeah. <laughs> There's a problem. The, the Reflex ET website is down because the website is getting so many queries. It's not a DDoS. It's actually getting actual queries from uh, from people that it, it went down. So we actually mm -hmm. have no, uh, no reference at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. So that's Reflex here. And I guess, I, I hate to say this, but at the moment we're doing better than Riddit. <laughs> yes, my, my, <laughs> minus 50. Yep. It's Getting himself a, a team frag is probably not the best thing to do, I think. It's not great for him. I mean, if we have a look into the game, who are we watching here? I mean, it's currently 5 0 to Imperial. Absolutely storming this with ease. Three down. They're going to pull this flag again. Just relaying it over and over again. Rex with a three piece there. And all four of Power Unlimited TV are down 6 0 in the first side of Capture the Flag with two minutes left on the clock. Yeah, at this point, it's pretty much what you can say. It's. We were in the beginning of the match. It, this, this is actually probably a good warm up for Imperial yeah. in general because to them, this is pretty much pub stumping. Yeah, well, exactly. Maybe even easier. Who knows? Yeah. I, I know these Power Unlimited players, they, they rarely play online and these mm -hmm. sort of things because they're reviewers of video games. What they do is they play, they review games like uh, like The Witcher or things like that. Yeah. And then they have like little little release events at this very venue. Yeah. And then we have like little parties and we get really, 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 really drunk <laughs> off that afterwards. But they have fun and it's, a, it's, it's like a preview. But you know what? 
for their sake and for their peace, they're going to be putting on the websites. It's going out to a couple thousand Twitter followers, so we may as well. Let's see if they can actually cook something out of this recipe. Yeah, and I mean, this will certainly be a big confidence boost to Imperial. I know they were a bit disheartened after losing to Mythics, but Mythics are such a strong team. It was a very convincing win for Mythics. We only actually managed to capture the last few maps uh, when we were sat up here, uh, and it was a 5-0 win for them on CTF and a 4-1 win on the S&D. So, you know, they're, they're proving themselves to be very strong opening up. That was the first game of the day for both teams. Mm -hmm. So this is really going to be a big, big confidence boost for Imperial. In addition, I believe the Farico girls, which is the first all-female team at a reflex, mm -hmm. I believe they managed to lose their first match. Oh, they lost it. I'm not quite sure, though. I did get an update early on. We'll have to check again oh. later on. And then, of course, uh, right now, they got a sales team infused, rocking and loading here on our screen. This is potentially going to be the biggest victory of a capture the flag at Alan ever. We're currently on 8 nil in the first side of Arcaden. <laughs> I mean, while Rex is currently on 15 nil. Uh, he must have killed a flag carrier at some point to be at the bottom of the scoreboard, but he hasn't actually died yet, so <laughs> he, he's, having, he's having a great game. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to actually switch over to Imperial and get a view of them on the other side as they take round number one of capture the flag 9 nil. Wow. So let's see, uh, let's see what's going on. <laughs> so it's nice. Ridder actually ended up breaking even at the end of that game, A-Spec, so I'm, I'm proud of him. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 Ridder, Ridder's play style was absolutely astounding. I thought about myself. Yep. Damn, son. That's a pretty pretty good play game you got going there. Let's take it from the Imperial side. Yeah. Good chin, good chin, the other end. We actually had a chat about this earlier, and we thought it went out on stream, but we were completely, completely wrong yeah. about that because it was more of a practice. He oh. managed to do himself a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a vlog in his car while he was driving home. He certainly did. So he was pretty much like holding his camera while what, like, in the other hand, was using the steering wheel and talking into the camera, looking at the road at the same time. In the gangster pose, one arm on the top of the wheel, exactly just cruising. So it's like all he needed, like it was like a Glock, and then he'd be d be done like <laughs> doing drive bys and slow or something exactly. like that, yeah, <laughs> something along those lines. But um, no, I've, I've, I mean, I get on with Gucci so much, like in and out of gaming. Um, we actually went to meet him, like in between uh, when we were on our way to a land that he didn't attend. We actually stopped off at his house. Mm -hmm. He's a great guy and a fellow vlogger. Uh, six and a half thousand subs, I think he's got now for his Not vlogs. Bad. If you want to check him out, X Gucci on his YouTube. Every time I hear the word Gooch, I just have to think of something completely well, different. Well, yeah, this is the thing, because um, <laughs> this probably doesn't surprise you, Aspect, but I didn't actually know what... <laughs> I know what a Gooch I, is, I, yes. I, I didn't know what it was for a long time. Oh, you Googled it, didn't you? Well, no, his, his gamertag actually got banned because it was an offensive <laughs> word, but the, the problem is it's his surname. So he, he His last name yeah, is Gooch? <laughs> yeah. So he, he took it... I, I don't think he took it to heart too much, but it's got to be it's got to be bad thinking... Uh, <laughs> Your surname is offensive to the Xbox community, apparently. Hmm. So he just stuck a few X's in there and went with it. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, it's doing just fine. It's also Gucci, yeah, yeah basically. <laughs> and we can just take a look at the roster as well. We, of course, we can Imperial with Finch, Gooch, Rubix, and Rex. And Rex actually is actually XTC. Is Rex going to get a Moab? <laughs> oh well, he's not going to because it's uh, because there's no kill streaks, obviously. But th if if they were on, he could be. <laughs> Potentially on his way to a Moab here. Mm. I also like how there's apparently two Rexes in this tournament. Oh. There's Imperial Rex, mm -hmm. and there is XTC DG Rex. Ah. Okay. They're well, both called Rex, so if these two teams meet each other at one point, there may be a Rex on yeah. Rex action. That, so. that, well, <laughs> in the. <laughs> let's be careful what we say here. <laughs> but uh, I mean, anyway, 5 0 on this second side. I mean, the only thing we can really talk about is if they're going to beat the previous performance on the first round. They won 9 0, capture the flag, round number one. Gucci just re relaying these flags like a boss here, and he's just going to run this straight in there. He's having a great time. Look at him go. Reloading that MP7, and he's just going to sit it out a little bit. I'm, I'm really interested to hear how Rex finishes up in this game. 22 0. That is very impressive. I'd be happy if I got that in a public game, to be let's, honest. Uh, let's take a look at that, yeah. Um, yeah, out of 22 0. You're yeah. absolutely right. That is um, pretty damn astounding. I'm actually, let's, you know what? Let's take a, like a look at him, what he's been doing so far. There he is. Omnicide. He eats everything and he yeah. kills everything. I mean, he's just sitting top balcony here. He's in a really good position to yeah. pick up those kills. He could just look down on towards Crash Yard and just have no problem whatsoever. Anything that's gunning up the escalators is going to get shut down. He's in the direction of the, uh, the spawn. I... 
And Singer already picked up, and he's just picked box himself. Another one, and there's another kill. Yeah, there's the 23rd. Oh, he's, he's on his way for a 40. Well, he's not going to get a 40 bomb, but uh, he may hit 30. 30 nil at a land. He'll be very happy with that. Uh, maybe go down in history as the most ridiculous land play <laughs> to date. Here we go. The flag has actually been taken, though. They could potentially lose a flag here. It's going to be up to Rex to stop this. He's aiming in the exact right direction. And, you know, Power Unlimited TV, we, we're not being too hard on them, but they are an inexperienced team. They don't play Deserto. Uh, we, we should probably point that out. This is the first they time. They don't even play MLG. They, they, to be honest, they don't even play Call of Duty. <laughs> I don't even think they play Xbox. No, no. <laughs> no. So. Uh, but it was funny. I was talking to Warp before the mat, uh, before the game this morning when I walked in. He was like, "Yeah, I just got back from holiday, and they told me I had to go here." Yeah. So I just, I was just, I just came back from Bali from th for three days, for three weeks. Mm -hmm. So and then he told me I had to go and play video games. I was like, "Okay, it's <laughs> a <laughs> so living, I guess." Whatever. Yeah. I'll do it. No big deal. <laughs> so Rex is still alive. Is he on? I think he's just hit 25. I think no, 27 nil. Flag is being ran once again. They're going to make this 8 nil on side but number a 16 two. nil flag. 16 nil so far. Not so, bad. you know, Power Unlimited could come back from this. There's still time. Oh, no, I, I'm not sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, no. no, no. That's a wait, let, let me just run that through my head. Let me just uh, 20 so seconds. Flag, flag, then 10, then 10 no, 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 it's not no, going to happen. No. <laughs> Will he be able to get the ninth, though? Even with no clip, I don't think that's going to be, like, no. you know, an option. <laughs> I love the way that Imperial are like, Sweating this through right until the end and not giving up at all. No, that's, that's good. Yeah, it's yeah, good. They're getting good. into the swing of things. Exactly. They're going through the motions. Oh, and Rex, he's got it. Oh! oh! Killed by his teammate. Rubix. Rubix. Oh, Rex. you cheeky bastard. Rex is going to be fuming. Oh, oh, that could have been a perfect land game for Rex. And look at this. Rex even went for the turn on. He tried to take him out. He knew he was going down, but he, <laughs> you can see Rubix. <laughs> Rubix was just like, lul, after that. Just, tro just trolling around in a circle. Nothing but trolling there. Zero, zero in the first round, and that's going to be mm -hmm. a total of 17. Yep. So I'd say that was a fairly convincing win for Imperial. A fairly convincing win. They played a good game there. It maybe. was, it was, it was. I think, I think slow golf claps are in order. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, they absolutely. played it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, next map is going to be bootleg search and destroy. So we'll see if they can continue their good form. And when I look this. at this, though, look at the look at their uh, when I look at their account names, they have played. They actually have played matches. Yep. The thing is with me on Call of Duty, I haven't actually reached the the rank to prestige yet. Um, I, I've seen people on streams that have like. Level 45th uh, prestige is something stupid like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> my brother, Mo, Mo, uh, Mo Mo, is in this tournament, if you don't know. Um, He's ginger. He, well, he, he is. That is that is a true point. Yeah, just throw that out there, yeah. just in case people want to know. But um, <laughs> um, he actually is 10th prestige, despite playing a lot of scrims and not really playing many public matches. He's managed to dedicate enough time to reach that high level. His game time on Call of Duty is actually insane at the moment. I don't know what it is, but it's is ridiculous. it is it triple digits? It, it wouldn't surprise me if it was quadruple digits, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Over a thousand hours he's, played. He's probably managed to play a year somehow already. He'll have crammed it in, in there. Modern Warfare 3, yeah. which has been out for yeah. two months. Yeah, yeah. He'll have done it somehow. Welcome back here to Reflex GT7. My name is Ace Beck here, joined by none other than Rel. It's time for match number two. Mm -hmm. Time to get underway here, as it is the Imperial versus Power Unlimited TV. Let's go over these rosters one more time, shall we? It's going to be a Reckless, a Rex, Gooch, Rubix, and there is a person missing. No, it, there, there it is. is. Finch, and on Power Unlimited TV is Wars, Riddert, Ariad, and Ellison, who will be rocking the fray. Now, Rubix didn't, I believe it was Rubix, uh, sorry, Finch didn't actually spawn in that round, but they've continued to play three versus four. I think Imperial are quite confident they're going to take this, and, you know, with good reason after storming that capture the Abs flag. Absolutely. 17 to nil. 17 nil. <laughs> uh, but Rex died. I feel bad for him. 29, he could have walked away from this land saying, yep, I didn't I didn't die in one whole game. Well, I, I think... I, I think oh. oh, dear, Rex. Oh, oh dear. there we go. Nice it, little two -piece. I like how Power Limited were all just... Pretty much prone. Yeah. <laughs> just pro lying prone and just taking it steady. It's kind of like, though, if, if, the, if, for example, if I tried to play Gears of War or something now, <laughs> if you just put me on Gears of War and said, can you play this in a LAN at a competitive level? And I'd be like, all right, I'll give it a go. I'd probably find a sniper somewhere, try, try a bit of no scope. It's all about the torque bow. It's the torque all bow. about the torque bow. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or the boom shot. One of the two. Uh, I wasn't, wasn't my best game, Gears of War. <laughs> I, I gave it a shot, but 
Torgbo is ridiculous. I just decided to become a professional Call of Duty player instead. For, for those people who don't know what a Torgbo is, imagine a piece of dynamite strapped to an arrow. <laughs> That's a Torgbo. Yeah, that is a Torgbo. <laughs> Map number uh, round number two here, Search and Destroy. Let's take it away on... Uh, shall we look at the Power Limited side yeah, for this let's, time? Uh, let's switch it over, see what's going on for those guys. Riddit actually managing to pick up a kill against yep. Finch there. Finch going down, so yet to get a kill in this game so far. Uh, after ooh, Rex will drop him as well. We may actually see Power Unlimited pick up themselves a first round. And we actually do have a decent amount of defense going on, yeah. even though their weapon selection is... Interesting. Interesting. Now, I don't usually see, I just want to switch back. Uh, the corners are being utilized on this map, as you can see, by Wart and Ariati mm -hmm. going for a pincher attack around that door, it would seem. And there was one of them, I was sure, that was using an interesting red dot sight on the MP7. Now, for me, I will only ever use red dot sights if I'm playing with, uh, with a gun that I want that attachment on. But you can get these little interesting shapes now. You, you, you <laughs> like a little horror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, though, would you really use an, a red dot on an SMG to begin with instead of an AR? Because... I don't know. Well, that's one of the things. I mean, for something like the UMP, I, I, I like iron sights mm -hmm. on some guns. I actually prefer them. Mm -hmm. And I think a few people might agree with me on that. But sometimes you just feel you might as well use the red dot. You sort of feel you have to use it sometimes. So uh, there we go. The actually, Power Unlimited yeah, will pick themselves up around. Getting themselves right back into this series here. One uh, one. And remember, guys, this is best of five throughout this tournament, of course, excluding the final. Um, so it's going to be CTF, s and CTF, s and CTF. There's no domination. And Imperial here absolutely storming that first map after a really rough start against a really strong team in Mythics. Absolutely. So Finch will pick himself up the first one on the uh, Arite. Yep. And we actually drove up and flew over with Finch and Gucci. Oh. So uh, they're really nice guys. Now, I, I really wanted them to do well in this tournament. And they have been knocked into the middle bracket immediately. But, you know, teams can go into the loser's bracket and still win it. You can't rule any team out of the competition. No, absolutely yeah. not. No, no, you, you, it's, that's simply not done. Although right now I'm looking at this and thinking Power Limited. Mm. Slightly overwhelmed, I think, by the Imperial. Maybe they're just warming up. Maybe they're just yeah, getting absolutely. Started. That must be a yeah. Like maybe I, they're I, giving I, them a chance. It's it's kind of like Rocky. Rocky got destroyed at first, and then you see like a power montage. Yeah. And then he goes back into the ring and being a complete boss. It's all a game plan. They're leading them into a false sense Abs of security. I think they're going to fall. The only reason why they put themselves in the lower bracket is so they can storm the rest of the bracket without giving any strategies away to all the teams in the upper exactly. bracket. That, See, that must be it. The geniuses. We didn't even think of this. Why, why didn't we think of this? It's, it's called thinking outside the box, my friend. Tri it's I mean, Triple Elimination, they're going to get to play a load more games now as well. well. It's, it's, is it Triple Elimination? Because I thought it's Double Elimination with a placement bracket. Uh, triple at triple limit. It is triple, yeah. triple limit. Okay. And that's one of the things I love about Reflex. It's so well organized to cater for all these matches. Yeah. Uh, I mean, every single Reflex I've come to, it's expanded every time. We're actually sat in a separate room. We've not been in this room before, have I we? I have. Oh, well, you you <laughs> have. I, I've not been in this room. There's We're, actually stations and... Uh, we, will, we will from now on refer to this room as a porn studio. <laughs> <laughs> there, normally, there's a leather couch here. Is there any particular reason for that aspect? I don't think you want to know. I, I green screen. Want, green. I, I don't think I want to know either. We do have a green screen. Though, I'm a bit so. worried about. Um, I mean, I, I've seen uh, the female body on the on the main stage. I don't think people haven't seen. Have you not seen this? If you walk downstairs, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually the Power Unlimited mascot. That's the mascot. <laughs> that's the mascot. A for mannequin. Power Unlimited. It, it's, <laughs> it's a mannequin. It's 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 it's, it's a, a mannequin biology. without a head, without arms, and without legs. It's just a torso. Yep. And I uh, <laughs> think it's catching a few gamers' eyes. It is. <laughs> I, I think I think some gamers are getting more excited about that than Fariko female. To be quite <laughs> honest. But let's get back into this game. Red is right now pick him, trying to pick himself up a decent one on Finch, trying to hold himself steady into this game. He is four nil. Uh, let's say he's four four up. And you know, Power Limited's uh, attacking rounds have been quite decent so far. Yeah, let's be fair to Power Limited here. They are doing okay in this search and destroy. It's actually two three. Um, uh, the three rounds in Imperial's favor. So they could potentially take this. It looks like Rubik's was using a snipe there, and I'm sure uh, maybe if he was playing a team of a higher caliber, he wouldn't be using that sort of gun. And I think Imperial will now probably be trying the hardest in this next round because, you know, two rounds could get, uh, you know, taken yeah. quite easily through luck. All through skill, you know, Power Limited could just take it and play well. They, I, the Rocky moment. Th this is it. That's absolutely. Th this must and be. And this is it. what we're talking about because now they're using snipers, they're messing about, they think they've easily got it. And now this is the time for Riddit to strike. Riddit's going to come up big in this. I think he's actually on 4 to 4. I think he's doing okay. Yeah, as he gets taken out yeah, by Finch. Yeah, <laughs> as, as he goes down. 
Uh, so yeah, Gucci cleaning up against War. It's all Eliasson against four now. He's taking out Finch. One versus three in a defuse on Eliasson's hands. Gucci's just going to clean that up though and take the 2 0 lead in the best of five series. Strong play once again from Imperial, but uh, better play from Power Unlimited. Maybe, you know, because it's not the objective game mode. I don't know. The, you know, one kill can determine a lot of things in Search and Destroy. But uh, yeah, I, th I think they played a lot better that time, Power Unlimited. Absolutely. And that's all I can say. 4 0 for Riddit, Vlad, 4 0 for uh, as well. It's okay. It's okay. It's not like six five like like Gooch would do. Like, yeah, yeah. It's pretty decent. Let's go back to another match of Search and Destroy. You are watching Chaos TV with myself, Expect, and I'm joined by none other than VP brother and my number one. Foreign rail. Foreign rail. Yeah. Your left hand man. My <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's Sup Sup son. Sup son. I missed that shirt. Fire torpedoes, number one. <laughs> <laughs> I have the shirt with me, by the way. I have you I've, I, I've got a good shirt with me as well. I won't show whether to wear it or not. I might, I might bring it. Is it, is it? Is it horribly offensive? Uh, it's not. It's not offensive. Because if it is, then I want to see it. It's extremely nerdy, <laughs> so I, I think it would work well on the street. It would work very, very well with but me. I'm, re I'm representing foreign right now. I've got my foreign shirt on, which really doesn't go well with this top. I have to have like this collar poking out. No, that's very, that's very chavish what yeah, you're doing right I now. Know. Okay, you, all you need it. now is a hoodie and like a stroller just, get it like that. from like, your 14 year old girlfriend, wife esque thing. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting way too into that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, bruv. Yeah. yeah. Yo. Yo. So, so. What's going on? I've been living in Slough. <laughs> in Slough. <laughs> Slough is actually quite expensive, by the way. <laughs> I just want to point that out. But let's get back into the game. It's map number three. It's CTF, Imperial versus Power Unlimited. Power Unlimited, what a name and what a team. They came here and here as a last-minute addition to the rankings. And you know what? They're having a good time. They're having a good time. That's what's important. We, you actually spoke to them a little bit as well. Of course, yeah. I always do. Yeah. They're, 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 they're nice, nice people. Chat. They're nice people. Oh, I thought Rex had just about killed himself. That would have been a little bit embarrassing. Managed to escape the Semtex, though, just taking a little bit of damage. Rex is going to be playing quite defensively, and I think Imperial's target at the moment is going to be to try and better their arcane score. I don't think they'll do it on Sea Town. You know, I don't want to rule Power Unlimited out, but... Ooh, Rex, a little bit slippy there. Uh, I don't want to rule Power Unlimited out, but Imperial are a good team. Uh, you know, uh, they've been practicing, I've sat in some scrims that they've played, and they have been playing well. So I don't think the mythic scoreline justifies uh, how well they are, how good they are even. Um, and maybe this is going to change a few people's minds, even though Power Unlimited isn't the strongest team here, I think it's fair to say. Gooch there with a nice little two-piece, following it up with a knife. Rex getting taken out by Elias, no, and they're probably just going to run this spike home now. Yeah, it should not be much of an issue. They're almost there. And here we go, Gooch just taking his time. He's got the support of his teammates who he can rely on. They have been practicing setups. This isn't a team that are just coming into the tournament and thinking they're going to play well. They've, they've sat in maps and discussed routes and stuff. I've been with them whilst they've been doing it. Because I feel, I, I feel I'm part of Imperial. I, I don't know why. Well, even I, though, even I though used to be. Even though you're foreign. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Because I, I, I really I just want Gooch to do so well. He's, he's my YouTube bro. He's my E bro. We discuss vlogs and everything. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd love them to do well in this tournament. So. What I'm still looking for is uh, walking in into the cafeteria and see a team like hunched over over a printout of the map. Oh. And they're like saying, if you're here, then you need to be there. That's and for that's Rico. That actually happened. At, it was the very first event I actually went to, ECL2. And I remember walking in and I was like, oh my God, it's Daredevil from GB. And I saw them and, the <laughs> and they were all uh, hunched like around. He's the really tall. Yeah, well, <laughs> he, he, he was a lot taller than I thought, actually. But um, they were all hunched <laughs> around the table looking and Brainiac was running through maps. So uh, I think we're, we're now like laminated A4 size. I, you know, I, I, I didn't I didn't go over and check, but I, I saw enough. I saw enough A spec. <laughs> they, what, what is seen cannot be unseen. Exactly. Yes. That is exactly it. <laughs> On board with Rubix now, though, he's just pre-aiming down this right hand side. He's going to be playing a supporting role as opposed to the objective, which is what Gooch and Finch are doing. Uh, Rex did want to play SMG for a short time, but you know when we were watching him in scrims, me and my brother and trying to help him out a little bit, we decided it would be best if he started playing AR because he is quite a strong AR player. He has been playing really well, um, and Rex is one of these people who is really good at search and destroy as well. Uh, you know, we, I've played a few GB games with him, and he always just goes huge in search and destroy. So I'm expecting big things from him in this tournament. Don't want to put any pressure on him there, but just watch out for him. It's, it's the differences between CTF and SND is pretty much the pacing, though. Mm -hmm. 
as well as the combination of uh, individual skill, which is rather important as well. Flag is getting picked up, even though Riddler has the flag right now. 3-0 up for the Imperial, and Rex is trying to take him down. He knows exactly where Riddler is going to be hiding out. It's going to be popping out there, and he oh, will yeah. not pick up the flag. Oh, dear. Good play from Riddler, though. He actually fooled him a little bit there, went down to the bottom and was pre-aiming up top. Uh, Gooch is actually on the counter, though. Now he's pushing this flag all the way, so he's going to prevent them from capturing a flag. And, you know, he could potentially just sit at the back and his teammates could defend this. 3-0 is a big scoreline for a capture the flag game at a LAN. Mm -hmm. But they're just looking to absolutely dominate Power Unlimited right now, mm -hmm. and they are doing just that. Well, at least it's not as bad as the uh, CCF round on Arcade, and which ended up to be a 19-0 match, mm -hmm. which and was pretty devastating, I think. I just wanted to bring up the scoreboard to see what Rex was on there. He's actually on 7-3 because after his performance in that other game, I believe he was 29-0, and then Rubik's just trolled all over him and killed him at the very end of the game. I troll over people all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and Rex with a nice two-piece following Rubik's. I think that was actually four down against Power Unlimited. And they are just setting up for a relay now. Gooch going in. Flag has been returned. There we go, 5-0. Flag picked up by Gooch, and he's just going to run this right through the middle of the map. 44 seconds remaining. We're in the last tick there of the chickens. It's uh, Gooch with the flag on his way to the homestead mm -hmm. through market. And it's, all, it's quite difficult to commentate such a one-sided game, it really. Is. <laughs> <laughs> because we're just basically cocking about right now. Yeah. yeah. But uh, there we go, 6-0. And Gooch is just going to run in. No, he wasn't even challenged throughout that flag capture. Nice kill from Gooch there. Finch following it up against Riddit. They do potentially have time to secure one more flag. And the kill feed is just so Imperial dominated at the moment. I mean, the, the warming up here, the, one of the problems when I was speaking to Gucci actually just before he started playing, and I, I knew it myself, it was really, really cold when we got here this morning. The weather wasn't the best walk. No, you could say that. Yeah, so when, when your hands are so cold, uh, it's really hard to play, and that applies to anyone. It's like, I, don't, I, I always remember back at, back at school, in my youth. When you were still young yeah. and fresh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when, you did, when you did rugby, or should I say, I, I kind of just looked stood, at it. stood to the side and let everyone else play the rugby, but I, <laughs> whatever, my hands were absolutely free. And you're coming back to the changing rooms, and you couldn't even button up your shirt. It's that kind of feeling. Yeah, I'd like to have your have like your mates help yeah. you button up. Well, <laughs> see, that's like totally not homoerotic no, no, at all. No, well, we are we are apparently in the porn room right now, <laughs> so maybe that maybe this is a good topic of conversation. Even though power, let's let's quickly jump in the game though. Water, uh, water and Rare to pick up the first two kills with Rex going with the. Uh, Oh, no, White all of a sudden is actually rocking it quite nicely here, picking up three back to back off the base. And he's, yeah. Yeah, he's sticking with the standard perks like Van Quick Draw, Dead Silence, got the ACR Red Dot. So he's he's using the uh, you know he's sticking to I suppose the the Deserto favourites. And this is the interesting dot site that I was talking about because when you see Maimin, I just can't imagine using this dot site on a gun. They are potentially going to get this flag though now there's some good support from Wart here I think he's actually picked up three kills not died yet and they're all just sticking as a big group one Semtex could take them all out <laughs> that would be funny yeah. actually <laughs> <laughs> Wart some nice cover here just making sure no one's going to sneak behind them flag's been dropped well played by Finch with a two piece and the return unlucky 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 afraid oh what gets completely knocked off his socks right off the bat just off the flag post and that's going to be very, very, very annoying to dig. They did make a good stab at it in the end. And I do have to be accommodated for that. The Imperial will pick himself up a flag and are ready to go and chain it back to back again. Elias in the shooting was, or Elias in the shooting was a little bit off then. And as a result of that, they are going to be able to pull that flag. Gooch with a two piece now, running this all the way home. Rubik's following it up with a knife. This is almost a definite capture with Elias in the last alive. Oh, just trying to line that gun up, unable oh, to do it. Awkward. Oh, and he's taking some damage. And now he's lost the enemy player, so he's just going to get out of there. Regen is going to roll in very, very shortly, trying to make himself steady, steady, steady. I'm trying to be as fair as I can to this team. I'm finding it very difficult not to criticize the most <laughs> the way he's back. I mean, they're doing, a, they're doing a good job. Like we say, they've come here, they're having a good time. You've spoken to them a bit. They seem, they seem to be happy enough, and you know, I'm sure they'll walk away from this game still smiling. It's, it's not even their last match, because they have two more matches coming up after this. Well, At exactly, least yeah. a minimum of team matches. Yeah. And I, I, we, we both agree that they're going to storm that lower bracket like exactly. a bunch of bosses. Lower bracket is the, is the time. I'm not sure what Gucci was doing there. Just pre-aiming around the corner. He didn't even take a few shots. Uh, but here we go, Eliasson now stunned, in trouble, Semtex flies in, he's weak and in trouble, Finch picking up that kill. Let's bring up the scoreboard, see how all the players are doing. 
to Rubik. He's only on six to four at the moment. And he's probably playing a defensive role, I imagine. Power uh, Limited is not getting inside of that flag spawn yeah. at all. Exactly. So they're still setting up Imperial. They're doing it. They're not just throwing themselves at the flag too much. They're playing it as they would normally play it. Securing the third flag of round number two. I mean, the combined flag captures over the two capture the flag maps is insane right now. Uh, I, I mean, what was it, 19-0 the first one? 19-0. I, I can't even remember what it was the first round of this. It was massive and, you know, just dominating the second round as well. A few warning shots there with the ACR. Oh, Ooh, shank. Vart with the quick knife there. Holds himself. So they actually, what so far has been doing quite well for a man who's been away for three weeks at the island of Bali. Yeah. Even though uh, his teammate I was on the verge of mining him down. But there's no pacing in this flag run, sadly enough. I've actually just brought up the scoreboard to see because I actually noticed Walt's actually been doing okay. He's at 12 to 14. He's running this flag. Uh, he's not doing bad. No. You've got to hand it to him. He's, you know, probably playing the best on his team. I don't know if that was reflected in the previous games because they were extremely one-sided throughout the scoreboard. Uh, you know, Rex putting up those huge numbers. So with only one minute left in the game, it looks like Imperial are going to be shutting this team out. It will be 3-0 in the series. And they will walk away with their first LAN victory. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a good warmer up for, uh, for the Imperial, to say the least. Is that it? It's for just for a second, tries to get himself a bit of a peek on the high ground. No, unlucky on that pickoff. Won't be able to do it, and he's going to get shut down here with 40 seconds remaining. As Ward can see, can Ward go huge here? I don't think it's going to be the case, even though he's on full defense. Unlucky. Oh, could have gone for the knife there, but didn't choose to do so. With 30 seconds left on the clock, there is time for this flag to be captured, potentially relayed if Gucci has anything to do, say about it. Ariati, though, is going to try and prevent that. You know what? I actually think Power uh, Power Unlimited can, like, out of the sheer awkwardness of their play style, uh -huh. I think they can actually win a couple of matches, basically because nobody really expects what they're going to be doing. Because their play style is so erratic, and it's all, all over the place, because you never really know where, to, where they're going to be coming from. Well, it's, it's optimistic. It's an optimistic thought. It is. But uh, that is going to be a, a huge victory once again by Imperial. And, you know, let's not, let's not be too harsh on Power Unlimited. Let's just, you know... Uh, say well played to Imperial. He played absolutely amazingly there throughout all of those games. So, well done to those guys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see here. What is going on? Ward, of course, 12 to 18. Not bad at all. As he put I up a good just, fight. Yeah, absolutely. He did, did, did his bestest to play himself uh, forward. And, of course, Imperial, with that warm-up there, having themselves a, 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 good, a good play. I'm going to check here to see what is coming up uh, next. Do we actually production? Do we have an idea of what the next match is going to be? No, yeah, we have uh, our Amin No Way on site. He's going to try and find out what is going on with the next match. We're going to go for a quick break ourselves, and we'll be right back with you with what could possibly be the first interesting match here on the stream. <laughs> We'll be right back with you. Thank you, production. <laughs> 